What's up? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to my West Coast series. I am out in the Massey today. Um, we need to um, set a um, uh, a hired worker is going to come in probably tomorrow and um, start seeding um, one of the fields for us um, I think I've got one more field left to plow as well but um, that's the field there that we're going to have seeded next so we're going to get a hired worker on to that um, but I want to get the soya beans um, fertilized today so we can get um, stage one fur going on that which will be really handy Um, we've also got some um, some straw that we need to either sell or store somewhere. Um, I would like to get myself um, a couple of, well, maybe ten. Try and get myself ten cows very soon would be good. So near that, I'm going to just push that forward. Did we get out? Yes. Um, pop that on. There, like so. Let's get back in here. Now I need to try and get out without breaking anything. Rub in that barrel there. They're looking pretty good though. I think actually. Does this tank refill from here? Yes. Let's refill the front tank. There we go. Let me turn this around. And let's see if we can attach the other one up. Refill that. so tight getting in there um up on that wood oh, there we go there we go right let's see if we can get out of here quickly it's not too much drama getting out and let's refill this up
Lovely job. Now let's head out That's to the gates. The field opened. Let's head into the field here. We can turn right. Oh, good. The bump, big bump there. We can turn right here. Not. That's what I'm talking about in my last video, you know, about doing um, crop and stuff. So, I know we haven't got care tyres on, or care wheels on, at the minute, because um, we're not even in in the first stages at the moment, so, of, um, of growth. So, we're going to unfold this. And that is looking pretty good there, like so. We are going to come back to there. We are going to set up our GPS course. If we can. It's looking to be miles off at the moment. I'm going to go here, like so, which is good, there we go, right, let's back up to there, and we are just going to have to um, finish off the, uh, um, the headlands like we did last time, right, so, let's get some fertilising done. There we go, oh, and away we go. This should give us a nice, uh, a nice yield when we come to harvest. So there's a little, the like a little black handle you can see on the orange Amazon tank there. That's the, the gauge to tell us how much fur we've got left in in that tank. And there's the white bit at the front there, which is the the um, extra tank we've got at the minute. So we're all looking pretty good. So sheep should be here tomorrow. Um, they're being delivered as we speak down to the um, uh, the animal dealer so and they said that they'd look after them overnight and then we'll move them on again tomorrow Go. Let's get that going up there. So um, he did. He did. Uh, he said, "Shall I deliver him straight up to the farm?" And I said, uh, "No, because I want to um, get um, want to deliver him myself. Want to make sure that everything's okay. Um, and that way, um, with me being so busy down here on this farm today." it's better to go up to the animal dealer so they can be looked after and then I can inspect them one by one make sure everything's okay so if there's any problems I can spot it from the start so he said that's fine I mean I have to pay for an overnight um, for an overnight stay at the animal dealer but that's absolutely fine it uh, just makes makes a bit more sense as you can see with my GPS, I do just click over to the, um, so I'm kind of almost double furting um, on, on parts, but um, I do that just so I can make sure that um, I don't miss any bits. Um, with, uh, with the seeding, you know, I, I miss a few corners here and there, but with the fertilization, I, I do like to try and get every part of the field fertilized so we can make get the best yield off what we've put in the ground i love this little fertilizer here it's really really quite cool it's um we should have enough in here 
this tank should be enough um, I'm presuming once this tank is 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 empty it'll automatically take from the front um, never used these before so but uh, they look really cool they really do and uh, I think they look pretty cool on the Massey as well so but I am going to get this field finished and uh, you can join me back in a few moments I will speak to you in a bit right so we are back with the finishing of the fertilizer we've got just uh, a little headland to do a bit on the right hand side of the field there and this bit on the left to finish off and then we are done the Massey is looking really dirty I've been in and out of the Massey trying to uh, I like to get some um, some nice photographs um, to use on my channel so um, as you can see getting in and out has uh, made the floor on the Massey very dirty right, I need to take a wide berth here need to start from here somewhere I think get that there there we go so it's just going to be a matter of just nipping around the edge now be a bit close that hedge line but we're good here right let's nip round the edges if we can gate line there good awesome go if we can um, just out a little bit there and that round there we go get down here get this side finished and we are nearly done so nearly done <clears throat> when I get down to the end here or just somewhere near here when I can just get a bit closer to that hedge line I can click my GPS back on so we get a nice crisp line down the edge there we might have to come up on one more pass yeah we definitely are going to have to come up just on one pass to get up to here can see there how are we doing on the uh, tank wise just just clicked it under half which is pretty good pretty good the good thing we've done with uh, GPS for this is um, there's not much wastage um, so it's all done it's all done pretty good um, which is definitely what I need Right, um, let me just nip up here quickly. Um, one there. I wanna snap the end off the sprayer there if I can help it. Back into the field a bit more. there we go that's that bit there done just quickly turn around here and head back down be careful not to 
get too close to the hedge again and just need to nip up the back here go off we go not overly worried about sort of fertilizing the field on the opposite side there just because we're going to need it for fertilized anyway go and actually get rid of that now turn GPS off entirely Let's get this field finished and then we won't have to look at this field again for another couple another few episodes until we can get some growth going on it And we are done. We are done on this field. Let's quickly close that up. We used half a tank, so we've still got half a tank left, which is really cool. Um, which we will probably use down on um, one of the other fields. It, it, it went, it came out. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put it back in. We're gonna put it back in. But I'm gonna push it to the back. Like so. So if I want to use it. But by doing that, I can actually come in this way, which is even better. By pushing that, you just have to watch the um, rear wheels on that, but we should be good. Um, There we go, that is done, awesome. Let's pop out. Pop that down. There we go, awesome. Happy with that. And get out here now, will be even better. There we go. So we are all fertilised and ready to go. Um, I don't think we have... Uh, Going to get a hired worker in, like I said, to, to start that down there. And we've got some... We will actually be doing some ploughing in the next episode, I think. Um, as well as uh, getting the rest of the sheep so we'll get the rest of the sheep and we will probably start ploughing the field I reckon so there we go another one done we're getting there it's all coming together really really quite pleased with the way things are going um, I've got to get the kids in again to uh, give the vehicles some um, TLC um, the fence not overly bad but the masses really needs um, really needs a good clean there so but right then ladies and gentlemen boys and girls thank you ever so much for joining me um, just uh, a quick uh, thank you to my patreons virtual farmer dial gaming and witchy thank you ever so much your support is 
highly appreciated now don't forget to leave a like share the video subscribe if you haven't already if you do hit the subscribe button don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you'll be notified every time i go live but that is going to be it from me i would just like to say thank you all for watching and i will speak to you all in the next one cheers for watching guys take care